and welcome to Amethyst Style Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today's video is a requested video. Um, I went to a afternoon tea with some friends um, at the weekend and there were these absolutely gorgeous napkins and um, I've made some uh, or I made a candle out of one of them and I was asked to show how I did this so I'm going to show you what uh, what you need to do to do this first of all you need to decide on the image that you want for the candle now I've got a rather small little candle here so I'm going to take one of the smaller images and we're going to take this lovely little blue tit and what you need to do is to roughly just cut it out from the napkin to start off with. Obviously, there's four designs on this napkin so that you can uh, um, you can make four different things with it. So I'm just going to very carefully just sort of or roughly cut round it just to start off with. And then you are going to divide the ply up now. With these napkins, you will have, they'll either be two ply or three ply. Now you can see that these are three ply. So you've got three separate um, pieces on here. So you've got one, two, three. I hope you can see that on here. Yes. And you just want one. So you take it very carefully down so that you have the thinnest amount that you need which is one ply so just pull it quite carefully and then we can discard the other pieces and then what we're going to do is we are going to very carefully see how far down this image will come and it'll come i need to cut its little feet off but it'll come just down onto here so we are then going to trim round the um the image and again you can do it fairly sort of roughly so I'm going to take it down so part of his feet are showing but just not all of it and I can take it round to take some of these flowers in and again it's you don't have to do um, neat cutting round at all you're literally just going to roughly cut it round in on the napkin like that okay so then we can lay this on to our candle and we need to make sure that the napkin is not going to go proud either at the top or the bottom because then that will stick out then you're going to take some greaseproof paper. Now I have got some, this greaseproof paper is greaseproof and baking paper from Sainsbury's local supermarket. As long as it is greaseproof paper of some sort, that's all you need. And you need to cut a strip, which is, which I've already done, which is the width of the candle. And as long as you can make it, because you need to, a handle to hold on to it, because if you don't have the handle to hold on to it, um, it will get quite hot. So you are just going to take the greaseproof paper and put it over the top and smooth it as flat as you can round and then take the other piece that's at the other side and that gives you your handle to hold on to it. So I hope you can see on there that I've now got something to hold. It's as taut as you can get it but you need the handle so again it doesn't burn your fingers. Then we are going to get our heat tool. So um, I have the Stamping Up heat, um, heat tool, but any heat tool you've got and you need to, I'm gonna turn it on, you need to allow it to heat up first. Um, if you allow it to heat up first, then it's quicker to actually do the process. So once it's heated up, you are then going to, I'm just like heating it up as much as I can, you are going to put it against the candle and you will see that, oh I hope you can see, that it will start 
to melt it through. So just run it through. You need to do it fairly quickly and not stand on one area for too long. So just run it through and you can see that the wax is melting and it's holding on. So you need to be careful around your edges and then let's turn the heat tool off and then what I tend to do is to just while it's still warm to just run my fingers along it to just make sure that it's smoothed out and double check along particularly on your seam lines there that it's melted through then you are literally just going to peel the greaseproof paper off and you have um, the little pieces at the top you can just take off because that's where the uh, um, the wax has melted at the top of the candle. So you can smooth that down and just take the pieces off. But there you have a beautiful image of the napkin and it is right inside the candle so you can then use the candle um, and um, put it up that way. So I put the heat tool down. But you can see on there that you have, if I bring it up... <coughs> You can see that it's it's actually inside all the way round, so it's very quick and very simple and easy to do, and uh, and you have a lovely little uh, um, image from the napkin inside on the candle. So everybody who wanted the video, here it is for you. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.